Yeah, no, sorry for all, all that confusion. Uh, there was a technical issue. All right, so uh, today I'll be teaching you all about Shodan. So what exactly Shodan is and how do we use it? So uh, whenever you want to search anything on Google uh, or on the web, you want to search a meaning of a word or some website name or something like that, you will normally use www.google.com or you'll use bing.com. Those are search engines to search for the web. Now, let us take an example. There's a hacker who wants to search some uh, search a cell phone or search an IP address or search a device which is connect uh, which has Windows 8 running on it or Windows 10 running on it and has a server address of uh, of that system. Uh, what will he do? He won't be going on Google.com to search for that. So the beautiful developers of Shodan uh, came up with this idea to create a search engine for such devices. Uh, they they brought up this whole thing and called it as Shodan. And what Shodan will do for us is it will search everything which is connected to the internet. So. For example, right now the devices which y'all are connected with, the IP address of those, those all things will be crawled by the spiders of Shodan and will be displayed to us. So to go on Shodan, it's very simple. You just have to go on this website, which is shodan.io, uh, create your free account, and uh, I'll just log in with my account. Uh, just show me a minute. All right. Uh, you'll be creating a free account and once you create your free account, you'll be getting this uh, API key which you uh, you can use. We'll be uh, seeing how we can use this API key for uh, CLI version of Shodan. And uh, you have these credits, uh, the export credits. So uh, for example, if you want to download the data from Shodan, uh, you, you uh, have to use this export credits and then uh, you get search credits and stuff. So uh, that's the basic use. How uh, that's the basic use of creating an account. So, all right. So what all things you can search on Shodan? Uh, I've generated a list. I'll be sharing you the list of all the queries which can be used. But let's get to a simple thing, which is let's see a simple example, which is IP cameras. Okay. So what are these IP cameras? Uh, Internet protocol cameras. So. For example, these can be your CCTV cameras or the cameras which are, uh, which are you know, which are connected to the uh, to your laptop, uh, your web cameras, which are connected to the internet. So what Shodan did for us is, uh, as soon as we uh, we entered IP cameras, Shodan uh, searched, so, uh, Shodan spiders crawled the internet and it gave a certain amount of results. These, uh, these results are not located from just one country. They are located from many countries. Uh, along with this, it's not only locating on one particular port. So if, for example, if you see over here, there are, uh, there are different ports on which uh, the spider has crawled. Uh, it's not just one port. Again, there are many organizations which the spider crawled, not just one particular organization or one particular company. Now, when we talk about IP cameras, uh, there are there can be different types of IP cameras from different companies. Shodan is so is so particular or it's so perfect that it has uh, taken IP cameras from each and every company. It's not just it's targeting one company. Like for example, it's targeting Microsoft IP cameras or Lenovo IP cameras. Of course, if you want to particularly search for those cameras, we definitely have that way too but in general it will crawl all the devices which is connected okay so uh, when you just search for this uh, this is a screen which you get i'll i'll take one example the first one let's take this first one uh, the first thing which you mark over here is the ip address so this is the ip address on which the camera is connected uh, uh, this is the public ip of that particular camera now, where this camera is located, you can see it with this location. It's in somewhere in Iran, Islamic Republic of Tehran or something. Okay. Now, when you, as soon as you click on this, uh, okay, there's no information available. Mm, let's go on the second one. 
Okay, this got redirected. All right. So as soon as you clicked on it, uh, this is the host name which you can see. Uh, this is the host name which that particular camera uses. The country. The country is from Argentina. The city is this. Uh, the organization which the country is using is Telecom Argentina SA. The ASN number of the uh, of that particular uh, particular camera. Uh, besides here we have a list of all the open ports of that particular device so this device is open with is opened on port 53 81 1024 7547 10000 and 49152 uh, if you click on any one port uh, we can see a tcp request which has been sent by shodan to that particular port uh, so this was the tcp request which was sent the date the time uh, which uh, the date and the time on which the TCP request was sent, and this is what uh, this is what the request was sent. Okay, uh, I guess this is the uh, this is the response from that particular uh, particular uh, port number. Uh, so this is how Shodan helps us, and Shodan shows and connects to each and every port. Besides, on the left hand side we have this tab which is called as vulnerabilities. So what Shodan did for us more is uh, it, it made a scan on this particular IP address, the IP address of the camera, and it has a list, a database of all the vulnerabilities up till now. So it just matches with the database and it tells us which, uh, which vulnerability the camera is, uh, which vulnerability the camera is vulnerable to or which can be exploited. So all you need to now uh, do is go and search for the cv and search for its publicly available exploits and then uh, you can easily exploit this camera okay so on going to this default page we can see uh, that there's this default page and uh, hik vision uh, vision company's default page and it asks for username and password now if you type the username as admin admin uh, as uh, example then we can uh, and if it gets success uh, in most cases the default password gets success we will be able to log in into this camera and view its results so this is how you can exploit a company uh, exploit a company and report uh, report such things to them so uh, this can be a p2 category bug or a p1 category bug depending on uh, what exactly this is vulnerable to all right, so let's look for more Shodan queries. Uh, I've just listed them. So this is a search operator, which I'll be using. I'll be telling you what exactly this is. Okay, so the search operator is device and VOIP phones. So VOIP stands for voice over internet protocol. Uh, obviously, uh, all phones right now are, VOIP, are converted into VOIP and device device is a search query which shodan has created so what device will do is it will search for all those devices which are using voip so this is how uh, the shodan has uh, given us the results there are total 11451 results and the countries are united states brazil italy these are the top countries and uh, where voip phones are being used uh, we have port number so uh, you can see over here 5060 is the most common port number for voip protocol uh, voip phone so next time you uh, see a voip phone you will be uh, you will be remembering that 5060 is that port on which this protocol is being used uh, so you can just use an nmap scan on that particular port and try to search for a particular vulnerability uh, through which this uh, this device might be vulnerable. The top organizations which are being uh, which are using VOIP phones. Uh, these are the top products. So uh, there are 4,418 users which are using Lvorox 6x VOIP phone SMTPD. So this is the phone's name. This is the VOIP phone's name and model, and this is the most uh, used phone of VOIP. All right, let's get to another uh, another one. This is another example of a search operator. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Mm. 
other. So has screenshot true IP webcam. So already we had seen IP cameras. Now we'll be looking at IP webcam, but now we'll be looking with a search query, which is has underscore screenshot. Now what does has underscore screenshot does for us? Uh, pretty simple as it says that uh, whenever you find a search result, it tells Shuran that whenever you want to find a search result, I need a screenshot. Uh, I need those results which with which a screenshot is present. So uh, if you can see over here, these are uh, those cameras with which a screenshot is present. So for example, this one. Uh, so you can see over here that uh, this IP webcam has captured a screenshot and this is a screenshot. Now, why did I use has screenshot? Why cannot I use just the IP webcam? Uh, well, if you remember in this page, you were not able to log in into the uh, login into this uh, admin panel. So sometimes when you are not able to log in, then we try to capture certain amount of information from uh, from such queries like has screenshot will at least give me one screenshot or two screenshots. And from that, I will be able to figure out that what exactly that webcam or what exactly that device is doing. So this was an example of has screenshot. Uh, let me show you another example. Let's say OS Windows 8. Okay, so if you want all devices, uh, for example, let's say there's an exploit such as Eternal Blue exploit, uh, which oh, which exploits all devices that uh, which are uh, which are running Windows 8. So you need to find all those devices which are running Windows 8. So for that, uh, Shodan has a simple search query, which is OS and <coughs> I'm sorry, uh, which is OS. And once OS, you, you just need to mention which OS you want to search for. So uh, this will be giving us some results. And uh, if you manually click on each one of them, you'll be able to see that this is running uh, Microsoft Windows 8. Uh, if you see over here, uh, Microsoft Windows 8 is being run on this. All right, let's let's try to combine two search queries and let's see what we are getting. Uh, okay, uh, this is not able to combine. Let's see Windows 8. Uh, okay, let's see port 21 and city Mumbai. Okay, so these are two search queries which I want. Uh, which I want. So what I have told them is, I want all those devices which are present in the city Mumbai uh, connected to port number twenty one. So this is how Shodan will work with multi queries. So if you query uh, something like this, it will narrow down the search results to give you accurate results. So uh, these are the accurate results where I have selected the city Mumbai and I want all those where port number 21 is present. So now why 21? Because as we all know, port number 21 is being used by FTP and FTP through FTP, I can sometimes anomalous, anonymously log in into that particular system. So if I'm an attacker, I can anonymous, anonymously log in into port number 21 if it's vulnerable and uh, if I'm able to do that, then I have successfully got a P1 category or a P2 category bug and I can report it to the organization. So that's how Shodan works with multi query. Now Shodan is not just limited to this. Uh, there are many more features where Shodan, uh, which Shodan gives us. One of them is maps. Okay. So let this maps get loaded. All right. So if you search for something over here, let's say IP cameras. Uh, all right, so uh, when you search for IP cameras, it shows total results as 828 and the top services which are running. And if you just scroll over here, you'll be able to see where that camera is exactly located. So this is the use of Okay, I'm not able to see over here uh, because it's updating. Uh, search request is signing. Please make sure. Query. Okay. All right. IP cameras and let's say city Mumbai. Uh, let's narrow down the query because Shodan is not able to search for that. 
MUMBAI member. Okay, or smaller and two is okay. okay. So, all right, I guess this is updating. Uh, it's taking time to update. Mm. All right, it's taking time to update, but what exactly will happen? I'll just uh, tell you all. Uh, once you once you search for something like this, uh, sh what Shodan Maps does is Shodan Maps will put a pointer over here where uh, to find out where that exact uh, where there is the exact location of that camera. So this is the use of Shodan Maps. It will uh, point it will point you out where uh, that camera is being located or where your search query is located. Uh, so this is how we use Shodan Maps. Next, we have one more thing, which is Shodan Images. All right. So while Shodan spiders are crawling the entire website, what they exactly do is they try to take a screenshot and store it in a database. So Shodan Images are all the screenshots that Shodan spider has been crawling. So for example, this is a screenshot of a web camera. So when one of the spiders must have gone over here, uh, it would have captured a screenshot of this web camera. So this is uh, this is one of the image which Shodan has captured for us. Uh, as soon as you click on that image, you'll be redirected to a new tab. And over here, you can see all the details, the IP address, the host name, the country, city, organization, ISP, ASN, the ports which are open. and this camera was working on 554 port number and this is how it looks. So this is the use of Shodan images. Uh, yeah, uh, there's one more thing which Shodan does for us, which is called a Shodan exploits. Now, what are Shodan exploits? So uh, you must have, uh, you must, you must remember, you must have seen the F F5 Big IP exploit, the RC exploit in Big IP servers. Uh, similar to that, there are many exploits for many web applications, for mobile applications, etc. So what Shodan exploits does for us is uh, it will gather all those exploits from different sources, be it from Google hacking database or be it from Metasploit, from everywhere. From everywhere, it will capture all those exploits and store it, uh, store it in its own database. And that database is called as Shodan exploits for us. So if you search over here for simple FTP, uh, let's say FTP RC. How if if I can get a RC from an FTP port? Yes, that's right. I can get an RC from an FTP port, and this is the exploit for that. So if I click on any one of them. Oh, it's taking time to load. All right. Uh, so meanwhile, while it's loading, uh, let's go on the second one. Start. It's also taking time to load. Okay. All right. Let it load. Uh, meanwhile, it's loading. Uh, over here, we can see that there are total results are 16 and the platforms which are used are PHP, hardware, multiple windows, Ruby. So uh, you can distinguish from on the basis of platforms too. If you click on PHP, it will filter out and give us PHP. So see over here, there's an extra query which is added by Shodan uh, on clicking on PHP. Uh, these are the author names, the authors who have uh, successfully created this exploit for us. All right, I guess this is loaded. So uh, what it did is, it redirected us to exploit database and over here we can see the exploit of that particular uh, search query which we have used which is i guess ftp rc so this is the and uh, this is the entire exploit shodan just crawled these exploits and stored it in its database so your entire hacking platform or your entire hacking uh, box uh, can be your shodan box uh, this is a very brilliant platform wherein you can find each and every information from it. Uh, if you do not like the GUI version of Shodan, uh, Shodan also provides its CUI uh, CLI version. So 
let's just search for it and let's search beta. Okay. All right, so this is the official Python library for Shodan. Uh, you can install it using pip install Shodan. And once you install it, I guess you need to set up the API key. Uh, this is the API key over here, which you need to set up. And you can grab your API key from, uh, I'll just go to Shodan.io. You can grab your API key from your account section. So this is the API key, which you can use. Uh, all right, if you have a student's account, you'll be giving, uh, like if you use your student's account, you'll be getting an academic membership where Shodan maps and Shodan images will be free for y'all. If you're not an academic student, then uh, the normal search Shodan is always free for y'all. Uh, also, if you are an academic student, uh, what Shodan does is it provides a booklet of all the search queries. Uh, of all the search queries and that booklet is very good. I've gone through it. Uh, you'll understand each and everything of Shodan from that. Also, if you do not have the academic uh, membership, there's one more thing which you can do is search for these queries online. I'll just, uh, okay, this is one. And I guess this is one, okay. Uh, this is a developer which has listed all the Shodan queries, uh, all the Shodan query filters in it. So you can just head over to this URL and uh, it has all the queries which are listed, all the queries which are listed over here. Uh, the queries are more than just what I have shown to you all. Uh, there are a wide range of queries. You can go through them, you can use them. And yeah, uh, this will be helping you a lot in hacking. Also, I'll be showing you one report of how Shodan managed to get uh, a P1 category bug. So I'll just go through that report. So this is a user, Sweet, uh, Sweet Lie. It's a bug bounty hunter, and he has found a P1 in Shodan, which is a remote code execution vulnerability in just one minute. So how did he do that? Let's go through that. So what he was doing is uh, he was just searching for his bug bounty program on Shodan. So let's say he was searching for example.com on Shodan. Uh, on searching the query, one of the search results showed a Jenkins instance. Now this is how it looked. Generally what developers does is they hide the option to create an account. But this developer had forgotten uh, hide that option and you can see over here this is a screenshot of the Jenkins instance and uh, if you see over here there's a uh, there's an option of create an account so obviously as any bug bounty hunter would do this developer uh, this bug bounty hunter also just uh, clicked on it and uh, he created his account and he was able to log in into that account flawlessly okay so on log in uh, if you can see over here this is the Jenkins instance which uh, you can see now Jenkins uh, uh, this Jen uh, this Jenkins vulnerability uh, this Jenkins version had this vulnerability wherein you can execute commands so what the developer did for testing purpose is he executed an ls command over here and this is the result which he got so indirectly by using Shodan, he got an RCE within a Jenkins instance. And this is how he got a bug bounty reward from that program and a P1 category bug. So Shodan was very much helpful in finding this P1 category bug within a one within a minute. So this is the true power of Shodan. This is how y'all can use Shodan in order to find vulnerabilities. Yeah. Uh, besides this, uh, I'll be sharing this link with you. Uh, another user, Jake Jarvis, has these awesome Shodan queries which you can use. He has provided each and every example <coughs> of Shodan queries. And if y'all if y'all want to learn more about Shodan, y'all can just go through these queries and play with them. Also, remember if you find uh, find anything interesting or anything vulnerable then please do report it to that particular program. Uh, 
if it has a Bacondi program, it's well and good. If it doesn't have a Bacondi program, then too, if it's critical, uh, like the P1 category bug, please do report them on their email address. You all can find their email address uh, on their particular website. Yes, guys, so that's all for today. Uh, we can have questions. Thank you so much, Webhav. Uh, thank you so much, everyone, for joining. I see in chat box uh, there's a cool discussion going on. Uh, I'll stop the.